What's going on, everyone? I'm with my director, Amy, here, pulled her aside um, to ask her the two questions that I get a lot is, uh, the first one is, what's you know, your advice to beginning dancers who are afraid to start? And the next one, another question I get commonly is, what's your advice for people who are in a creative funk? Okay, I'm gonna let you have the floor, I'm at the camera, what's up? Got it. Uh Answer to the first question, my advice to, uh, so, sorry, first off, <laughs> what's going on everyone? I am Amy Catfox Campion, rep in Antics, rep in BYC in Seattle, Capoeira Batuki, that's what's up. Um, so my advice to beginning dancers is first and foremost, be fearless in dancing and be unafraid of other people's judgment what they think. If you're a beginning dancer, then you get the bonus to enjoy and have fun. You're not expected to be a professional. You're not expected to be winning battles. You're not expected to be perfect in any way, shape, or form. So enjoy that process of uh, experimenting. Dance is play. Dance is fun. Um, hip hop and street dances especially are, are party dances. So have fun and just use that um, fearlessness to dance at every opportunity that you get and when you hear music that you love connect with that and just go and go and over and over and over and over again don't worry about who's watching don't worry about what they think it's it's none of their business if you're having a good time then the more that you're able to dance and the more that you're able to uh, be courageous and just uh, following your instincts to the music and the movement and the moment um, the better you will be able to hone those instincts and your rhythmic skills in dance. Um, the second question was, uh, what, are my, what is my advice to uh, dancers or dance artists in a creative rut? Um, I, I think that uh, bringing things back to a simplicity um, can be very inspirational to creativity and to the creative process. So um, in the case of breaking, for example, um, if I'm getting to a point where I feel like I'm repeating too much, I'm, I'm tired of the moves that I've been coming up with, come back to the basics, come back to your foundation movement, go back and look at um, CCs and like what can you do with CCs, what possible variations are there on CCs, like okay I can do a CC uh, where I'm locking my foot in behind my knee, um, but beyond just twisting up the actual movement, I can make it face in a different direction, or I can repeat it in a different way, or I can enter into it from a different angle or from a different level, or what if I'm doing CCs in the air, what if I'm doing them like on the floor, like floor level laying down and anywhere in between. So if sometimes if you give yourself limitations, that can inspire creativity because then you really have to um, think outside the box, but with a very specific assignment. Um, and I find that that for me can, uh, can stimulate the creative process. And then dancing wise, look up people that might, you know, want to inspire you. Uh,